Oh. Hi, my name's Michael Lavelle. I play Kevin Webster in Coronation Street, the world's longest running soap opera. Connie's lasted so long because unlike the American soap operas, it portrays ordinary working class people in ordinary, believable situations. In fact, if you want a refresher of what's happened in Corrie, it's 49 years in the next 49 seconds. It all starts in December 1960 in a sleepy, fictional British town of Weatherfield. At the Rovers return in, Ian and Elsie and Annie drink notes out and gossip about the neighbours. The shop when Martha dies of a heart attack in the pub, and Ida Barlow is struck and killed by a bus. A car falls on Harry Hewitt while he changes the tyre, crushing him to death. And everyone cheers when bad guy Alan Bradley is run over by a tram while attacking Lisa. Val is electrocuted to death while trying to fix an air fire. And a warehouse fire kills Edna G. Then Ernest is murdered in a bungle robbery at Mike Baldwin's factory, and Reenie dies when a lorry hits a car during a driving lesson with Alf. Brian gets stabbed in the stomach trying to protect a young lady from thugs outside a nightclub, and Anne Malone freezes to death after being accidentally locked in a freezer at Furman's Freezers. Dean gets shot and killed by a policewoman. Then Katie beats her father, Tommy, to death with a wrench. Nasty way to go. For the next two years, Richard Illman kills almost everyone. Speaking of murder, Charlie stumbles bludgeoned to death by a vengeful Tracy Barlow. Vera passes on, Maria loses Liam's baby, and David Platt pushes his mum Gail down the stairs in a fit of anger. And shockingly, she survives. And that brings us up to date on the ordinary lives of ordinary people of Coronation Street. I hope you keep watching. And uh, I hope I'm not next.